All right, so we're gonna take another look at this broccoli top thing in the mesh mixer. Um, so this one is a little bit different than the one I took in the ZBrush. Um, I am gonna just grab a random shader and just drag drop that on so we can see what's happening. But this one is pretty subdivided. Um, if we hit W, we can see the, the poly count of this. And one important thing to know is that mesh mixer will automatically triangulate your mesh. You have no options in this, it just does that. Um, so what we're gonna do, and I, I pre-subdivided this just because it's a little bit easier to work with. Um, there's there's not a... I think there's a nice way to subdivide stuff in here, I just don't remember what it was, so it was easier to bring it in uh, pre-subbed. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna go up and go to Edit, and Make Solid. So there's also... this does have booleans in it, I don't find them to work particularly nicely. Um, they have some issues with the seams that I don't like, so I'm just gonna go up and do Make Solid. This is more or less the same thing as a DynaMesh in ZBrush, except it takes way longer to calculate. Um, like, way longer. Um, and it <laughs> you gotta mess with the settings uh, a decent amount before they don't look terrible. Um, it does seem like I forgot, I forgot to pull in the inside cubes in this, but whatever. Um, so we could mess with the solid accuracy. Um, what we probably need to up for this one is the mesh density a little bit. Um, if you do, you can just play with the settings as needed and then go update. Um, I'm not going to do a super nice looking one of these, because uh, it frankly just takes a long time to process. That's the thing that kind of sucks about Mesh Mixer for stuff. Like, it does an okay job at stuff, but it's just like really slow, like, like just painfully slow. And every time you update stuff, you have to wait like a really long time for it to compute, which like was a bane of my existence a while back. But anywho. So we look at this and we're like, cool, it's kind of attached together, that's nice. But like, let's reduce this because we still have 30, like 400 whatever polys. So I don't remember where the buttons for the reduce feature are, but I can tell you that control A will select all of the model things. Um, control A, it should turn orange. Oh wait, did I actually accept that? Hang on. Yes, I did, okay, my bad. All right, so control A and then you can do shift R and that will just automatically bring you into the reduce menu, which like I said, Somewhere over here, there's buttons. I just don't remember where they are. Um, there's also some wonky mesh errors happening down here, which normally you'd want to fix before going forward because that's very clearly broken, but I'm going to ignore those for now. Um, okay, so I usually just sort of accept this um, at 50%, and then I'll just keep uh, shift Ring and then accepting it until it's near a level I want, and then I might play with the slider. Um, and the, honestly, the reason I do that is just because it takes a while to process things, where like it processes the 50% pretty nicely, and then it, it just takes like a hot minute to, to process the changes. So I'm like, why would I, I, I don't know, I just find it easier to do the 50% until I'm sort of happy with the level. But anywho, so this has been a very wonky demonstration of this, but here is the awkward, somewhat broken version of this in Mesh Mixer. Um, one thing you can try is go into Analysis Inspector and, like, just see what happens if it doesn't auto-repair all. It seems like there, it identified a few issues with the mesh and repaired them. Didn't seem to flag these, which kind of concerns me. Um, I'm not actually not used to seeing that happening. Normally, if you did a better um, edit mesh, you, you know, boosted the settings from fast to accurate and you, like, added more uh, resolution stuff, it usually will fix that kind of stuff. Um, but this is actually really weird, and I'm not sure what would cause this in general. But anywho, that's the, the wonky version of this in Mesh Mixer.